and parents from Kahogoine and Wamogoduko villages in Gatondo South, Kiambu County, shed tears of joy after their sons made it through a two-month rehabilitation and reintegration program. With an increasing drug problem in the region and a shortage of public rehabilitation facilities, attaining freedom from drugs is an uphill task for many drug addicts, spelling doom for their families. NTV's Dan Kauna reports. In Gatundu, South Kiambu County, the joyful tears of mothers flow, laced with hope for the future as over 30 of their sons graduated from a two-month-long rehabilitation and reintegration program, freed from alcohol and drug addiction. For some of them, alcohol and drugs had fully taken over their lives, rendering them dysfunctional. For George Kumu, what started out as an experiment to determine how Muratina, a Kikuyu traditional drink tastes, graduated into full-fledged alcoholism, and he would soon abuse all manner of drugs, including Changa, Bang, and heroin. He would lose his job, and later, his wife. The job is a job, many chances, many relatives, and I'm going to go to the job, I'm going to go to Bangi, Kelvin Muiruri recalls scoring straight A's in his youth. He would soon get ensnared by drugs and drop out of school while in Form 2 at Nyanda High School. He would struggle with drug addiction all the way into adulthood. Kelvin credits pressure from his peers as the main catalyst that pushed him deeper into drugs. For both of them, recovery from addiction is a chance at a better life. Their parents could not be happier for their sons. The recovered addicts say that despite the increase in alcohol consumption in central Kenya, public rehabilitation facilities are few, leading to an increase in people with alcoholism-related disorders and a lack of means to treat them. Dan Kauna, NTV.